Oh my god, there's all kinds of stuff. Peanut butter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, Space Mountain. That was rocking. Dude, that was really, really fun. Definitely get yourselves a front seat for Space Mountain whenever you guys ride. It makes the ride so much better. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy is uh, here. I, I, you know, I saw this yesterday, but I'm gonna see it again because I feel like relaxing and killing a half an hour. Uh, good show this was. I really liked it. And I'm hoping, I'm really excited about the movie, actually. Really excited. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, I think it's gonna be a departure from our typical Marvel stuff. I hope, anyway. And it could be a sign of how they do things in the future. Thank you. Looks like we got here just in time. They're op they open doors right for us as we walk through here. All right, guys, be back in 20 minutes. Sarah and I were discussing, I believe, on our last podcast, Guardians of the Galaxy, briefly, uh, when we were talking about Captain Neo, and we had mentioned Wait, that 45 minutes. Groot, the tree-looking character, is being played by Vin Diesel. And I had said, <laughs> we laughed because it's you know, he doesn't have a whole lot of dialogue in the movie. Uh, from what I understand, he only says his name. I am Groot. <laughs> and it, well, it turns out that the, the, the preview does seem to indicate that because that's all he says, even though it means different things. He'll, you'll ask him a question, he'll say, I'm Groot. And apparently, Rocket the Raccoon can translate that to what he's actually intending to say. I think that's what the... Uh, the preview there was was showing, which is pretty funny. Now, as a, as a, as Ben Diesel, I wonder if I should be offended, <laughs> should be thrilled that you're playing Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy. Is that good for your career, or is it bad that because you're Ben Diesel? Well, I don't know if it's because, but you're Ben Diesel and you have one line in the whole movie. I don't know. <laughs> I find that comical. Looks like we got some Tomorrowland celebrity in the house. There's a stormtrooper making the rounds. It's quite a stir whenever these guys come out. Well, I was in the mood for a little Main Street uh, transportation on one of the, you know, like the omnibus or something, but it's three o'clock. Looks like they've concluded for the day and they are getting ready for the four o'clock sensational parade. And of course the, what is it, like 10 or 15 minutes before that, it's Anna and Elsa on the frozen float. So what I'm gonna do is I'm heading down Main Street here uh, I'm gonna go check out some shops in there and then when they pop out, I might try to sneak out of there and uh, get a little coverage of Anna and Elsa again. You guys love candy? I do. I love candy so much, I almost married a girl named Candy. <laughs> but seriously, I really do love this place. This is one of my favorite locations in all of Main Street, just because of all the awesome stuff that they make in here. Let's take a look. That is a pineapple skewer. Pineapple with chocolate. Oh my god, what in the world? Okay, chocolate dip, strawberry, deck. Oh, look at those with the chocolate chips on it. Mm. Giant cube of English toffee. You guys are killing me. Oh my god. I'll never get these, but they look fun. Got the uh, Maleficent one there. Cake pops. Look at that. A chocolate dipped pretzel with cashews. Oh my goodness. And these are awesome too. That's, uh, what do we got? We got chocolate, chocolate nut. Wait. Chocolate, chocolate nut. No, that's not right. Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate raspberry, maybe? Or that one. Chocolate turtle, cookies and cream. Oh my god, there's all kinds of stuff. Peanut butter. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so, so good. Ooh, look at that. Pecan caramel roll and a peanut butter heaven. Milk chocolate s'mores square. Are you serious? Are you serious? So good. I could eat all of this. All of that stuff we just wa or just looked at, we can, you can watch them make right here. This is they're making English toffee. You can see they've got a whole bunch of it. That's going straight into the packages that you can buy right here. Well, 
it would normally be right here in one of these packages, but this is something else. That is pecan brittle. I was going to say, that looks like peanut brittle. That's pecan brittle. I love pecans. I've never had pecan brittle before. That sounds amazing. You've got your traditional caramel apples, caramel with peanuts, cookies. This idea, I love this, the sweet and uh, salty combinations like that. I just, I wonder if I would enjoy that a lot. I don't know. I've never had one of those, so I'm not sure. And then here you got your regular, this is your regular peanut brittle for $4.99. That's not a bad deal, I guess. These are always fun. Like when you imagine a perfect day for a child at Disneyland, can't you just imagine that they're holding one of those with maybe a balloon and a stuffed animal? Wouldn't that be like, the archetypal image in your head of a, of a kid's best day. <laughs> Do you like jelly bellies? Juicy pear? Never heard of such a thing. Cream soda. Oh my god. Those are awesome. There's your peanut brittle. That is a heavy duty package. Oh my god. It's $11.99. I think we did that once, didn't we? Here's a traditional candied apple. Cinnamon candy. Dad, do you hear that? That's, that's like as hard as a rock, I think. That's why I don't get those, because I'm afraid I'm going to injure myself while eating it. Milk peanut clusters. Oh, this is new. I don't think I've seen this before. It's a little dish of dark rocky road. I guess that's marshmallow and nuts in there, huh? To say, I was about to say that there's nothing new on the candied apple front until I saw this. That's some kind of that's some kind of gourmet caramel apple, but what is that that's on there? I can't even identify all that. I'm gonna have to look that up. Traditional uh, popcorn options. You've got kettle corn, chocolate caramel popcorn, and caramel corn. And they've even got this stuff, which is confetti popcorn, which I guess is because of the color. I don't know what it tastes like, though. You guys remember this from Pooh Corner? See, now that one, the one we had, oh boy, that's mushy. Yeah, this stuff is really mushy. What is, what is this stuff? Walnuts and who knows what else? Sugar. <laughs> Sugar, corn syrup, and walnuts. I don't know. I'm terrified of that. Chocolate fudge that you can eat with a knife and fork. Sounds wonderful. More Rocky Road. What's the Rocky Road runner? 13 bucks. No honeycomb. This is something that I often get when I get candy before going to the movies. You know how they have those candy stores at the at the uh, you know, the, whatever the malls or whatever where you go to see. There's usually always a candy shop inside. And, or not, not in the theater, but separate. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. I often get the, milk, uh, the, the chocolate honeycomb. because that, that always fascinates me, that, that, that concept of eating the honeycomb. I don't know why, but it, it is pretty good. Enjoy this cookie win. Boba Fett, where? Fresh baked, I am your cookie. These aren't the cookies we're looking for. I'm so sorry. That was strange. <laughs> okay, what else do they got cooked? Oh, yeah, we're back over here again. Looks like they're making some traditional caramel apples with, uh, with nuts on them. And I believe we have a confectionery guy at work. He's making English toffee. It looks like he's bagging it. Let's go check a look. Hey. Well, he's not bagging it, but he is... Oh, yeah, he's got it in the little trays. He's measuring and making sure he's got the proper amount for the next package. And here is all the packages. These are all going to wind up getting shrink-wrapped in those things and put right out there for sale. 